Hold the presses. I can't believe it. Topaz Studio 2 has just had an update. It's been over a year since they had their last update. I am super excited. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. I can't believe it. Topaz Studio 2 has had an update. I thought they never would. It's not a huge update, but hey, it is an update. And to me, that tells me that Topaz uh, will continue working with Topaz Studio 2 to make it better and better. Hopefully, hopefully. A lot of people wondered, are Topaz going to do anything extra with Topaz Studio 2? So we can all be optimistic. Let me know in the comments section below if you hope Topaz do something more to Topaz Studio 2 in future updates. I'd really like to hear from you, and maybe that'll send a message out to Topaz. Anyway, this is version 2.3.2. The last version was 2.3.1. Now, we can go to the change log if we come up here to help and come down to change log that'll launch the internet for us here and go to that web page and tell us what the update is all about this is a 2.3.2 march 1st okay and the last uh, update was on february 26th of 2020 new features updated all libraries ensure mac os big sur support so that's cool i was waiting to update to big sur uh better raw image support Update UI in various places to match other programs. Updated the installer to take newer admin administration fixes. Updated the in-app updater to use newer system. Replaced product tour with a new one. With a new one-time pop-up displaying a link to the user guide. And fixes. This is big for me. Fix the bug we're hiding and showing certain filters would change the effect. Not that one so much, but the second one. Fixed histogram not updating when filters are applied. The histogram one was the one that really bugged me. You couldn't use the histogram. Before we start looking at Topaz Studio 2, I wanted to show you this Topaz Labs pricing. These are for uh, license updates and things like that. And if you'll notice, the uh, Topaz uh, Studio 2 is a free update for everyone. That's not an update you have to pay for. So I just wanted to point that out. It's uh, Adjust AI, JPEG to Raw AI, and Topaz Studio 2 are all free updates, at least, the, at least at this point. So if you have Topaz Studio 2, go ahead and grab the new update. Let's go ahead and take a look at this new interface. Now, everything looks like it's in the same place to me. I don't really see any difference in the placement of the different things. The only thing that I will notice, that I noticed right off the bat, is Add Filter used to be blue, this button, and the Add Look button used to be orange. But other than that, there's no other difference to the main interface. One of the things I've noticed with this new update, though, is some of the filters seem to be working a little quicker to me, a little snappier. If you find that experience, let me know in the comments section below. And let me know any changes you feel had, that have really been added to this update. Like I said, it's not a big update, but... One thing that I really enjoy is the fact they fixed the histogram. This histogram didn't work before. You could click it and turn it on, but it would never update. So let me just show you now. It is working. Let's come up here to add filter. Let's just add a basic adjustment filter here. And let me pull the exposure back and watch that histogram. See, it's changing now. It's updating. That's a big help, you know, because that wasn't working before. And that was really a drag for me. Hey, by the way, um, this is not uh, a full edit tutorial here. I'm not even editing this image. We're just going over the changes to this new update here on Topaz Studio 2. But I will link this uh, image in the description below in case you want to download it and play around with it. Here's a nice little uh, change to the interface, and that is with the adjustments here. Now, normally you could take these adjustments and slide them left and right or whatever, but now you can use your scroll wheel. Now, I'm on a Mac. Let me know how this works on a, a PC, but you can use your scro scroll wheel now to, uh, you know, adjust these, which is kind of a nice little added feature here. And it, it runs the adjustments maybe a little bit slower. You might be able to get a little bit more accurate. So that's kind of a it's kind of a nice little feature there. Now here's a problem though. If you have a bunch of adjustments here and you need to slide up and down to see more adjustments, do not slide up and down over the sliders or you'll change adjustments and that'll irritate you and make you mad because that happened to me. And that's how I discovered that the scroll wheel will now change these adjustments. So if you need to hover or 
not hover. What am I saying? If you need to scroll up and down through adjustments to see more adjustments, just make sure you're over the numbers here or dragging the slide bar here, whichever way you want to go. But do not uh, scroll over the sliders or you'll be a little bit upset unless you want to actually change that slider. Now, all you need to do is hover over the actual slider itself. See, if I go over the white level here, anywhere here, and scroll up and down. If I scroll down, it moves it to the left. If I scroll up, it moves it to the right. Another thing I noticed was in the texture filter. So let's go to add filter texture. The texture manager used to be an icon over here. It used to be like a square with a little uh, arrow coming out of it. Now it actually says open. So if you click open, you get up the uh, texture editor. And this is where you can add your own textures and add groups and categories and things like that. I'm going to go ahead and close that. So that changed a little bit. And also it actually says texture manager. So you know when I click open, you're going to open that dialog up. When I first installed this update, I was thinking to myself, man, I hope I don't lose all the textures that I've already added to Topaz Studio 2. So when I opened up the texture filter, the first thing I did was I came to category and clicked this drop down menu and noticed that all my textures that I, that I have installed are still in here, which is really cool. So let me go ahead and click on one of those. Let me just go ahead and change it to an overlay blend mode, pull up the opacity. And that's kind of what textures do. And I have a bunch of videos on how to texture. Again, this tutorial is not about texturing or editing. It's about the new updates. By the way, if you want to learn about texturing, check out my YouTube channel. I have a playlist called uh, Creative Toolbox. And inside there, there's a bunch of different tutorials on texturing. And I have other just tutorials on my channel about texturing. So check out my channel. You'll find a lot of texturing type videos there. For now, let's go ahead and delete this uh, filter. So I'm just going to come up to the uh, texture layer right here and click on the trash can and we'll get rid of that filter. And then let's come up to add filter and add another filter. I'm going to show you a change in the AI remix filter. And I think here the change is the speed of it. I think it's working a lot better because I, in past videos, I've told you I normally like to start out in the high mode. But I don't do that because it's a little slow in loading that up. So I usually recommend start out in the low mode and go through the different uh, AI remix filters here to find one that works for you and then shift over to high. But I'm noticing now that high is seems to be working a lot quicker. It's a lot snappier to give you that result. But you can see what that low result looks like compared to the high result. Usually I like that high result a lot better. And then I might just pull back the opacity a little bit or something like that. But this is a really cool filter. And I like to use this filter along with the um, impression filter. But let's try another one here. Let's try this guy right here. But you can see it's it's uh, it's loading that filter up a lot quicker. Now that looks really cool. Let's try a few more of these in the uh, high style strength, which was slow, like I said before. But now you can see the response is a lot quicker, and I'm really happy with this. So this update, not a huge update, but a well-needed update just to have that histogram finally working after a year. So I'm really happy about that. Hey, let me know in the comments section below what you think of this update. Do you think these were some good improvements or not? Or what other changes do you think they need to make? Well, there you go, everyone. A new update for Topaz Studio 2, a year in the making. And Topaz, I hope you're watching this tutorial. Please give this uh, piece of software some more love. Give it some maybe new filters. Add some extra features to the filters that are already there to make them better. Whatever, it would be a great welcome to myself. And I'm sure everybody that views my channel and even those who don't, but should. If you enjoyed my tutorial today, please give it a like, share it with your friends. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. Then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.